Hey, I, uh, it is October 6th at 10.25 here in the Pacific Northwest, um, and it is, I haven't even uploaded the last two videos I'm doing, and I'm going to do two more, or at least one, probably two. I'm doing two more, because um, in about an hour and a half, it will be my birthday, and I will be the magic, well, it's not magic, but it is life, the universe, and everything. I will be 42. 40, 42. Um, yeah, so I got that going for me. Um, and what I'm about to do is uh, open my latest package from one of my BFFs. And I mean that not just in like how you call just about anybody like your cat. Your BFF, although she is one, she's really my BFF. I live with her and sleep with her. And she doesn't even judge me when I masturbate. Well, sometimes she leaves the bed. Okay, I should not talk about these things. Anyway, the point is, one of my best friends, Andrea. Hi, Andrea, if you're watching. Um, send, we send each other packages all the time. Like, I send her all of my crappy gossip mag celebrity magazines, and and she sends me better things. <laughs> and uh, we send each other miscellaneous things, too. But anyway, since it's sort of my birthday, I thought I could open a package. Um, and it's not my birthday yet, but it is where Andre is, so that totally counts. So all I've done so far is opened the package. Look, oh, Lulu is scratching on her scratching list. And we will see what Andre has sent us. Um, now, this isn't like a birthday package, per se. It's just, it's one of our packages, but it's coincidentally at my birthday, so we're going with it. Uh, see, this is why she's one of my best friends, because, like, it's, it's a butter dish, but it's a cow. Like, this is wonderful. This little moo moo keeps butter fresh. See, this is awesome. And look, it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's big, like wide, which is perfect for the Kerrygold Irish butter that I get. Um, if you want, if you, I don't even know who you are, but whoever you are, if you watch any of my other videos, you know that I do the keto diet. In fact, I've got to upload the last keto video I did. Um, anyway, high fat, uh, moderate protein, low carbs is basically how that works. And butter is an excellent fat, high fat. Um, so this cherry gold is going in here. Thank you, Andrea. You're my, you're the wind beneath my keto wings. And then, um, see, I just, oh, I love Andrea. Creative nonfiction. Totally love this magazine. Sometimes see it, sometimes don't ever don't see it like I like I you know it's I don't always go to bookstores um sometimes when I do see it I don't get it even though I think that I should or I want to but I don't but look it's here so this is awesome oh what, what was I just talking about I was talking about my keto diet look at this clean eating um you know not all this um these diet books kind of work for me like the paleo diet or the paleo cook uh blah, 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 magazine sometimes works but um but not always i mean not for a lot of stuff and this won't be for some stuff but i usually get really good tips from things like this clean eating so that's awesome and a bunny rabbit with a saddle on it um and this is probably a literary journal, perhaps? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Ten things you'll need to survive AWP. But seriously, folks, 12 tips for navigating AWP. I remember seeing this come out. This was for the last AWP in uh, what is that? Minneapolis, and I didn't go. But I'm going to L.A., and I bet not all of those things will be relevant, but um, some will. Uh, London Review of Books. See, I send her people and us and sometimes like okay or hello or those things. And she sends this stuff. Like good stuff. Like yoga. Excellent. Uh, <laughs> How a mother weaned her girl from fairy tales. I don't know a damn thing about this, but it does say anyone attracted to fairy tales and fables should check out the stories and criticism of Kate Bernheimer, who wrote this. So, oh, 
it looks pretty good. I mean, I know one should not judge a book by flipping through it, but I do like how it's on the page and how it is on the page looks. Yeah, I'm into this. Cool. Thank you. That's a good one. Uh, what is happening here, Lulu? What is this? It is virgin mojito shower gel. Do I have to be a virgin to use this because Oh no, virgin mojito means it's it it's got none of the sassy stuff in it. So it would be perfect for you know, uh anyway, it's from the body shop and the body shop is awesome. So excellent. We got oh look it's safety sealed for my protection. Well not anymore. Oh, and a bow. It's a bow for Lulu. Yay! Lulu hates the bow. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I'm a bad person. Okay, uh, so now we have, oh good, it's, um, it looks like it's a little Subway lunch sack. Feels like something's inside. Something is inside! It's, <laughs> Andrea always, I think, it's hard to have a beautiful friend, so Andrea t tries to, you know, make me not so pretty, but then prettifies me. Um, because I've got a pink lemonade face mask. You actually five of them. You know I'm not going to look good in this, but you also probably know I will do a video while wearing one and also that then I'll look beautiful afterward. So, plus I got a little lunch tote, a reusable lunch tote with animals on it. Oh, it's from the Lion King. Excellent. So, that is fabulous. But wait, there's more. Uh, we have a box. It's got a cool pattern, which is why it's coming into view. And oh, there it is, opening. And, oh, and inside, little more little small things. This I love this woman. Um, including, oh yeah, perfect for the season, but not for that finger. This finger is my new pumpkin ring. Wait, uh, there we go. New pumpkin ring. Excellent. Showing the bling. And, uh, thanks, Andrea. Union Institute and University branded. I'm guessing this is, um, hand deodorizer stuff or whatever, antibacterial stuff, which is so appropriate, actually, for Union Institute and University. So appropriate. It's the brand. Uh, I used to work there. Wait, it's not focusing in, I think, because it's trying to focus on me. There it is. I used to work there, and I escaped, which is the nicest thing I want to say. And Andrea still works there, and she's doing a fine job there. Okay, and... Ah! Uh, this quality stuff. I asked Andrea to pet a goat here. I hope she did. She went to the uh, Marquette County Fair, celebrating 25 years. Mazel tov, Marionette County Fair. There we go. Um, we've got a pin from Poet's House, which is in New York City. Uh, it says Poetry Advocate here. And I've got to tell you, I read some poetry earlier this evening. Somebody posted it on Facebook. And I thought of Andrea. Because I was thinking, oh my god, thank god I have talented poet friends instead of what I read. Um, sorry, uh, person who I'm not poetry advocating for just right this second. But, um, yeah, uh, po yeah, I have talented friends. Like, Andrea's talented. I got, I've got like at least ten poet friends who are talented, and I think more than that. Um, and I'm sorry, I don't know how many. I just don't. And I, if I started listing you, I would surely not list somebody, and then that would be awful. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna shut up now. Ooh, Bert's bees lip shine. Yay, flutter. Um, which shall we see if it makes a difference on video? It might not. Oh, and it's safety sealed for my protection, or or something. I don't know. Uh, do, do, do. Sorry, I'm wasting video. Well, I'm not wasting video time. I'm making a video, and if you want to watch it, you can watch it. And if you don't, you can turn it the fuck off, right? Okay, I got some lip shine. 
I don't know how I did with that. Can you see them shining? Ooh, duck face. I think they're shiny. They probably look good. Oh, yeah. I'm very sexy. Tip shine. Bird space. It was like a commercial. Uh, and then, look, there's a string which probably held something down, like stationary or something. But look, it's pretty box inside. Oh, box. So, keeping the box. They're not getting the box back. Uh, oh, there's more. Uh, let's see, we have a postcard. Crassmouth.com. Star Buffalo. Oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, look, it's, look, it says something on it. But look, first you have to see the art, because it's pretty. Oh, buffalo or bison. Uh, yeah. So, happy you. I am the world's worst gift wrapper. Sorry about that. You'll about, you're going to see how that is. But I love you. But I love to celebrate you. And I hope that comes through. Here's to you. And I love you. Happy birthday. Love, love, Andrea. Thank God she didn't say anything embarrassing, right? Because I just read it without reading ahead. I love this. So, so far you are not the world's worst <laughs> gift wrapper. But look, it's something gift wrapped. So let's let's all evaluate. Uh, let's see. It's my name, Tara, and uh, she. I, I think there. Yeah, she ran out of paper here. But I can't see the gift. So that to me says successful gift wrap happened. Is the thing? Oh, I have. I have achieved opening the package. This is a poem that heals fish. Ooh. It's a book. That's what the book's called. This is a poem that heals fish. And it's beautifully illustrated, but you will have to get it to find that out. And I hope that it really does heal fish because um, one of my favorite goats died today or yesterday and Leroy Brown. And so I really don't want any more animals to die. So I hope that this is true, that it actually does um, heal fish. And I think this is just the wrapping paper, but it's weird looking, so I'm looking in there. Ooh, the inside of this paper is very cool, and I really don't know why it wasn't the outside of the wrapping paper. It looks like a former calendar, perhaps. Um, look, here's some dude's uh, beard, <clears throat> excuse me, beard with a pipe. So yeah, I got that going for us. But wait, there's more. There's more in the package. Uh, this bow perhaps was on something. Uh, maybe not this. Might have. Uh, I don't know if it was on this or not. But there is a bow. And I would put it on Lulu, except that we now know she hates that. Uh, and, oh, I forgot to show you the excellent wrapping job. Look, there's it's packing tape. Which... You know, I still think it's fine. I mean, it gets the job done. It kept me from knowing what the gift was from the outside. So totally winning. Except that she keeps screwing up. Like, this should be... Don't you think this should be the outside? Definitely a calendar. January, I'm thinking. Um, but I think... Make that the outside. It's all printed and pretty. And I have her in my mouth. Um, excellent. Jonathan Adler. Quality stationery stuff. Oh, die pad note. Notepad, 100 sheets. And, best of all, fox-shaped. That's right. What does the fox say? The fox says, here's 100 sheets of paper. That's what the fox says. This is delightful. I'm Groovy Graphics, the company motto. If your heirs won't fight over it, we won't make it. I think that's a pretty good motto. That's Although it does focus on what they won't do, which seems, eh, I'm not so sure. Uh, but, anyway. Last but not least, it has a bow on it, uh, and oh, it's it's kind of like Lulu, but well, it's not a tuxedo, but it is awesome. I just had okay, this is awful, um, or it's gonna sound awful to anyone who likes any of these things. I made this great Ethiopian coffee, right? Quality beans, great coffee. And then I put um, I put tea in it. I, I made the coffee. There was cream. And I added a tea bag of pumpkin spice tea. 
I know. It, and it wasn't as great as I'd hoped either. I was hoping for sort of a pumpkin latte experience, but it wasn't quite that. But in any case, I do have a lot of good tea in addition to good coffee, whether or not I actually serve it properly. But check it out. It's a meow. It's tea infuser. So uh, the cat hangs out, I suspect, on the rim of the cup. And then the fish, there's that's a fish infuser, goes down into the water. And, yes, you perch the cat on the lip of the cup. So perfect. Uh, and I do have a bunch of loose tea. I actually just got some more in um, Boulder, Colorado. So that was awesome. Thanks, Andrea. I love you, and um, I considered doing the other video, which is me opening my nerd block uh, thing that I got like two weeks ago, but uh, clearly at 15, 16 minutes, I'm going to have to do another one, but um, love Andrea, and hopefully I didn't display my address for everyone to see, or Andrea's. I don't think I did. If I did, um, you can stop me, I, I but be like a nice stalker who doesn't stop much or freak me out or stare at me especially at night because that would be awkward um yeah bye oh look i'm closer to 42 oh it's 10 42 and i'm about to be 42 kismet